I'll be here shortly. Mystery warbles constantly happening in my ear. Possibly happening in all of yours as well. Okay, getting situated. Putting the microphone at a decent level so I can speak into it at a reasonable human volume. And I still have room to rear back in terror as needed. Uh, welcome to the part where I spin the camera and everyone tells me if it's terrible. Please tell me if it's terrible. My sincere hope is that it is not. I've changed nothing about my recording style. <laughs> Told it looks fine. Yes, where I immediately hid. I assumed everyone's gonna come down and shoot me, and I didn't want that. What if they were going to kill me? Ha! Ah. Okay. Uh, let me be silent for about ten seconds, so I know quickly where to find this and break it apart. Also, okay, it's gonna be the four, four thirty bit. Okay, should be fine. Hello everyone and welcome to Start to Finish for Control. My name is Matt Boyer. This is episode two. And it seems troublesome. We've got the Hiss, which are not the Typhon. We've got a magic gun, which doesn't really match up with anything else that's been happening. And we got this cool door. What? What? Open that up. Whoa. If it moved a little jerky there for anyone else, it kind of did for me too. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I need to go to the communications department, which is this way. And as you can see, when we go in here, it's bad. There it is again. Our welcome message. 
Well, here's one thing that's actually kind of nice for me, is this game does not expect me to go into stealth at any point. Excuse me. No one wants me to go in there. Well, oh, you died. Uh. Hi, none of you look friendly. Okay. Took a little damage. Oh boy, the nostalgia department. Uh, I think nostalgia is kind of limiting as a concept. Especially at the design ethos. But this isn't normally what I mean by that. It's overpowering here. I can't go that way. It kills me. Okay. Okay. Nostalgia is very limiting to my soul. I don't have a lot of health. Oh, jeez. It's like it's moving around. Is it going from person to... Wah. Did it... It's like it was inhabiting different people. It kept like switching between them. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's what it looked like to me. I, s I see a big light. That's probably for me. That's mine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I... Insert the exact amount of nickels, dimes, and quarters. That's not how you spell nickel. just want you to know. I don't know if you knew that. It's broken here. I didn't do it. Ooh, salad bar. These things are Petri dishes! Alright, communications department. Every now and then, I get words, and I don't like any of them. Okay, house memory. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything with yet. Take that toilet paper. All right, stuff went in here, but maybe it actually didn't. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green is stable. Yellow is low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange is high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red is frequent unanticipated building shifts. Uh, I have been told that it was hitching a little bit. I hope that's not the case. But I can also do this. Quiet time.
Uh. That's that's better. It's still bad, but it's better. Uh, everything back here looks weird and warbly. Where am I actually going? I'm going to the communications department, but is this a door that works? No. Dead letters. Oh, executive, dead letters. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, I got my gun out. Which to tell you it's gonna be a real, th real thrill a minute in here. You need to reload faster. You need to reload faster. Ah! Oh, I'm taking damage. Hanging in there, hanging in there, hanging in there. Okay. Health, health, health. Healing, healing, healing. Desks. Locked doors. Sprinting. Ooh. Treasure! Uh, shatter recoil efficiency. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, what we got going on in here? I see that icon. I want it. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. What a cool idea! What a cool idea! Oh, hang on. Is there something else in here? Oh, the Hiss Barrier. The Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss Barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity, or destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other, non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Doesn't an active structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the Hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the Hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file for full report. Compiled by Emily Pope. By by order of director Jesse Faden. Oh my gosh. That's wild. I love it. I can't fit through here. Okay. So... Alright, let's keep moving. Whoa! Yes! Yes! It's mine now! 
It's my point. My room. My Game of Thrones intro. This is amazing. I love everything about it. Except that hanging guy. Hang on, I'll fix it. I have the decency to feel bad about it, though. I hear more. I hear another one. I hear another one. Hey, you. Some of us are trying to focus. A big, cool atrium. I feel really bad about doing that. Okay. Anything else I can do around here? This is now open. Let's get more lore. I love lore. Non-official. Book club. Penny. Hello, avid readers. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Oh, Penny's the one that's... She, Penny's in charge of uh, the dead letter. P. Bartwell. What is this? Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. <laughs> What's happening here? The Threshold Kids. This seems to be a bad TV show. Ah! Hey, Meg, what's wrong? My mom's dead. I'm so sorry, Meg. <laughs> what is this? This is so messed up. Kids, sometimes people just vanish. Don't look for them. Oh boy, dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. <laughs> This game is so far really hitting on a sense of humor that I have and I'm not necessarily happy that I have, but I have it. 
the distressing absurdity is something that I'm into. Despite my better nature. Uh, okay, let's kind of run around a little bit, see what else we got going on. Ooh, what's this? What's this? I want it. I want it. I'm going to read it. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but the machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's messed up, and I like it. Uh, well, I think that's the door I'm supposed to go in. Ah, oh, I can go in this door. Ooh, new door. Oh, no, it's a television. All right, this might be normal. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Oh, really? To date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, that's, <laughs> okay, sure, why not? That seems like a reasonable thing to have. So this one's not open yet, because it's got the red light. I don't have clearance level two. I thought I run this place. Communications, we're on the right track. All right, I'll leave you there being all friendly like. Uh, upstairs or down, do you think? Let's go up first. Let's see what's up here. Uh, people, mostly. People. That appears to be it, though. Some treasure. Pop. Oh, it's just something I can't. I need those clearances. That's weird. I don't know. Let everyone know I'm here. Put one into potential, the other into chaos. <sighs> First aid cabinet. Um, ooh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, someone knocked over all of the mail. What? That was very rude. I don't like the Jello room. Object of power. The what the heck? <laughs> ah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I have to get there. Oh. I'm down. Oh, I'm not down. Everything that that went down. All right, I gotta get up there. That's probably this way. The pneumatic tube launcher is firing at me. Okay. I 
came in. Okay. Come on, finish your job. Finish. Fin oh, I'm going. Oh, it's the disc. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Oh. Oh, that's really satisfying. Uh, that sound is incredible. All right. Handled that. I'm going to take this one with me. Just listen to it. It's terrifying. And I love it. Okay, I don't think I need to bring that with me. I know what to do here. There is a, it, it's like a strange physical shrieking sound. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, that's so much better than the gun. Yo. Oh, I missed. Oh, bendy legs. This is awesome. I like it. I like what's happening here. Hey, you. Go into space. Oh, this one's little. Ha <laughs> ha Doesn't have to be that big, though. Woo! Oh, I used all my brain juice. Come back to me, brain juice. Gosh, the sounds are awful. Mute the noise. I wonder if the other thing I'm listening to is a hiss. Oh. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like Donk. Oh, I know they're out there. Hey. I probably don't want to stand here too long. Keep moving. Keep moving. That was pretty. I don't want that one. That one's on fire. Um, well, there was a new thing I could read. Floppy disk, OOP5KE. Containment procedure must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling Presentation 11.15 for more information. The object is currently bound to... For research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in... By agents... And... With the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to missiles believed to be reserved for use against after being returned to america the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team 
An informant in the CIA tipped the Bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. A whole table. <laughs> oh, this, this, there's a, oh, that's, there's a lot on this. Ow. That was really close. <laughs> okay. I did not clear the railing with that one. <laughs> uh, the downside is now I don't have any health. But I did... Bonk a whole bunch. Oh, it regenerates. It regenerates automatically. I thought maybe it only. I thought maybe it didn't. And I would have to come down here and get some. Which, fortunately, I have. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got. I've got a cool new power. Still have my awesome coat. Uh-oh. Can I have this? Oh, hang on. We got we got new stuff. The Rangers are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their hiss-corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His Rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His Rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense His resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training that his rangers are capable of applying to the situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives and dimensions with distinct physical laws making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. That paragraph raises questions that I did not know I needed to be asking. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identif identify and track entities once fired, making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the his restrict usage of this weapon to the bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Uh huh. Oh, hang on, I got another. No! I'll watch the full floppy disk. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. okay, so I think it is just what I've already seen. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. So when the hus... Uh, when the... the hus... When the hiss corrupted this, I guess they made it a lot stronger somehow? Oh, how do I get to this? Can I sit it down? Can I sit it down? No. Anyone in here? Nope. But there are supplies for me. Ooh, what's this? What's this? 
Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Sampson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this is all right. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns, space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet, convert the entire population using those brain worms, and that space dogfight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. I've read books like that. Oh, that's just something I can pick up and throw people. Oh, radio. Okay. Well. That's that room. This is now open, so let's head into the mail room. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Well, I'm ready. Where you at? Where you at, punk? I got the mail. A special delivery. Brought it just for you. Where you at? Let's do this. Let's do this. These letters are overdue. The heck is that? Why is that thing glowing? You can press square to drop it, by the way. This must open the door. Yo. Yo. I got my clearance. What do these do? Well, I barely explored because I was trying to throw that at somebody. Oh boy, the bathroom. Oh, I don't like it in here. I can't see. Oh, control point. Ha! <sighs> Fast travel. Nice. I know that's where I'm supposed to go. I don't want to go there yet. I found stairs. Oh, I can just pull stuff out of the ground? Yo. My own room is downstairs. Can I Ooh. Uh, it looks bad in there. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override and maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slap together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as the directorial override, so stop saying so in documentation. 
I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? Marshall. Nope, nope, not that way. Okay, can't go that way. That way is sealed off by big bad brain juice. What else is up here? I know where the game wants me. Oh, 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 ee, ooh, ee, ooh. oh, just another one of these. I can't imagine they're like one offs. What's this? You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. All right. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've yes. Had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells a big story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. Oh, I'd go there. Was in room 47. Like the agent. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered. Under the bed. Spooky. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Okay. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below. They only found the body when the housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No <laughs> ghosts visited me. No chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. I'm a ghost. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. <sighs> there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe like fuchsia before possessed. we labeled it. Remember, Possess toasters! No one else believes you. We do. America over here. Ah! Jiminy Christmas. Ah! <laughs> Never do that. Oh, we were having fun in here. Oh, it's where the poop goes. All right. Let's go where we're supposed to. Uh... Hello. Hi. You've got a lot of problems. Great. Did you dodge? That seems illegal. Ow. 
Ow! Ouch! I was trying to move. Oh, can I catch what he throws at me, maybe? I'm going to try that. I don't like this load screen in the slightest. In case anyone was wondering, I don't like it. Um... Okay, yeah, I got the episode. They can fly now. Great. Hello. I do not appear to be able to do that. Aha! He dodges real well, too. Where'd he go? Oh, gosh! Whoa! Oh, someone was shooting me. Oh, I'm losing my stuff when I die. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I can't. That's anything on it? I just say some stuff on it. Displacement. Maybe I need to th throw faster. Yep, I see you up there. I don't have a cool dodge, which is a problem. They can fly now. Great. Uh oh. So it starts to light. I am hitting him. No, that didn't do anything. All right, let's get down. I don't know if there's a generating health. I don't think there's a generating health. I don't have a dodge or a slide. Uh, if there are tips coming in, ch in uh, the chat, I'm not looking at them yet. I'm glad they're there. If they are there. If they're not there, you don't have to give them to me. I I'm going to puzzle this out. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, double tapping. Double tapping. Whoa. Hey, you are breaking my stuff. I need those. Ah, I can't. Get down. I don't have anything else to throw at you. Oh, no. Keep moving. Oh, I really don't need you here, son. Oh, I don't have enough uh, power. All right, half health. Oh, keep moving. Oh, gosh. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. This is kind of working. 
I don't need more men. I don't know where he is. I can't find him. Whoa! Oh, come on. Where is he? Crap. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's so many people coming. This is bad for me. Oh. Oh. This seems tough. These are tough fights. All right. All right, well, I can fight enemies to get my health back. Who needs that thing, I guess? It seems like I've got to throw twice at at Tommaso up here. Tomasi? They can fly now. All right, I think I got him there. And now I see guards showing up. Keep moving. An important thing I'm seeing is keep moving. I need this health. Ow! Rude! Uh oh! Oh, someone's up top. I see them. They're moving to flank me. Oh, I can't go back outside. I wasn't gonna... Okay. Oh. I'm close. Oh. Stay down. Another hit and you're done. I've lost track of him. Oh, he's going to get me. There's health down here. Get the health! Ah! This is bad. Also bad. Shotgun's bad. Shotgun bad. Shotgun bad. His elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau para-utilitarians. Some prefer to charge their targets, while others launch objects at them. 
telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have, have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording and parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss Resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals it corrupts. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. Golly gee. The line should be past the mailroom. Okay, well, let's go upstairs. I'm checking to see if there's anything I can read. Oh boy. Up. Oh, oh, I'm. I'm gonna go to that save point. I'm not done playing yet. I'm just gonna go to it. I don't know if I need to save there, but it felt good to do it. Alright, so I think I need to go upstairs and... And over. That was tough! That guy was pissed! At me! Where am I? Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all that I didn't show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Are you still recording this? <laughs> what a jerk! That same one? All right, take this down. Yep. The all right, same one, same one, same one. All right. Uh, is this Butte? I'm going to say Butte. I don't know if it's correct, though. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocate, trans, translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity, located at... which has been connected to a total of disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the Butte Holmes closet disappeared during this incident. What? What? That's bad? That's crazy! Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. A full recovery. Uh, is bleeding. Born on, or issued on October 21st, 2016. Expires 2019. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. The hiss got him. Yeah, they did. All right. Hotline can't be far now. Let's go to the hotline. Whoa. I think I hear it ringing. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual see file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. 
After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the and sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though exactly how this link operates is but initial hypotheses center on the Butte AWE as a see Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. What? Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. Director Trench. Director Trench. Bill Everett. Director Trench. Director Trent. Trench at 240. Okay. 928 is the only time Trench. Okay, no, he goes on at different times. It was 245 p.m. a lot of days in a row. But And Carol Bishop is someone we only see once on here. Custodian. I'm going. I just want to check. Oh, boy. I'm glad my hour's almost up. I appreciate that. I never put the gun away. Oh. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. The law of three applies. I didn't know that was going to happen. You're going to say that was my fault. I thought there was a floor. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today. Because it's going to take me a little bit to get back there. And I do need to stop recording and finish up my work day. I fell to my death and it was funny. Um. Oh, everyone's talking again. Fantastic. Let's 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 shut that up. Where is that happening from? Where is that happening? I need quiet time here. I need absolute silence if I am to save this world. That sound is so good. I missed. Well, this game's amazing. I pulled that desk apart. These papers are still... Give me more of that desk. You die. That is such a wild visual. Lamp. And it's gone. The sound is gone well all right we fought a boss we beat a boss we beat an elevated that seems important that seems like a thing that i did uh i'm gonna i uh i don't have a shatter i don't know what that's about i don't have any any takeoffs i don't know how to upgrade anything um and i like my health re recovery because that seems important. I need those for things I'm doing. Multimedia. And uh, that's the AWE report that I had from my not at all friend, Tomasi. Oh, what else is correspondence? Non official dead letters. I want more of these. They're so good. This game is also very good. Anyway, um. 
that's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I am going to catch up on the Twitch chat and see what everyone was talking about. Let's see if maybe I stumbled on anything. I wasn't paying a lot of attention, which is, uh, I hope that's okay. That I think that it does seem to be, I, I like, I scroll through it right now. I do see plenty of chatter. And so if you're all able to chatter amongst yourselves while I'm doing this, that's awesome. And I look forward to reading about it once I am done with each one of these. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday for more Control. Bye.